The ice rink transforms into a battleground when the NHL's biggest and strongest players throw their weight around. The world of the NHL is not just about scoring. Here, finesse meets fury. Well, again, Hosa. It looks like he jumped on the play. Left his yeah, feet. it looked like he jumped on the play. And left. His While some players use their speed, agility, and quickness to their advantage, others use their strength, size, and power. They could decide to make a call and review it, but I think he goes through the center core of the body. Dive with us into the NHL's most brutal open ice hits and witness the power of the game. Strap in for a wild ride through the hardest hits in hockey history. During the 2003 Stanley Cup playoffs, Carolina and the Islanders turned up the heat. And as you might expect, things getting... Netchass was skating fast, puck in sight, right next to the Islanders' bench. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Pajot appeared and boom! Shoulder to shoulder, Netchass found himself taking an unplanned visit to the Islanders' bench. He didn't even see it coming. Netchass got up, and out of frustration, he threw a punch at a seated Islander as if saying, this is my spot. Despite this drama, Netchass hopped back and there was no punishment from the on-ice officials. Heat wasn't confined to that matchup alone. In a Game 7 between the New York Rangers and New Jersey Devils, Truba gave us a moment to remember. As Meyer skated in, dodging sticks and showing off some slick moves, he found himself slightly off balance. Truba saw a chance. Timo Meyer. Oh, blasted by Truba and not getting up. With a hit that could make the earth shake, he smashed into Meyer. Making the ice seem like a trampoline. Meyer dropped like a sack of potatoes, and the Devils were screaming for a five-on-three man advantage. But the referees were too stunned by that seismic hit because no penalty was called. Truba's hit was so intense, you'd think Meyer's ancestors were taking notes. If you thought that was intense, the Minnesota Wild and Dallas Stars had something more jaw-dropping in store on that Stanley Cup opening night. Picture this. Time slows down. The crowd holds its breath. Pavelski flicks a backhand towards the net, eyes on the puck, unaware of the freight train coming his way. Pavelski in the left point corner, backhand inside the net, and goes flying! He gets blown up by Dumba! Pavelski is here! Dumba smashes him from the side. Pavelski sent flying, his head violently meeting the cold, unforgiving ice. An eerie hush falls over the crowd. Pavelski's motionless for a moment before later being helped off for medical attention. The referees shrugged it off because no headshot was involved, so no major penalty. But everyone watching, they'd swear Dumba's hit echoed through hockey history. Meanwhile, over in another corner of the NHL universe, Dmitry Orlov showed Matt Duchesne the meaning of a one-way fight. While the Avalanche forward thought he could breeze past the Capitals' defenseman, Orlov had other plans. With a drop of the shoulder and a bit of spring in his step, Duchesne was suddenly auditioning for the next Superman film. This was no mere body check, it was a collision heard around the league. What a hip check, that might be the best one I've seen the last 10 seasons plus. What People in the arena could feel the impact and fans at home replayed the clip in disbelief. It was a hit that became a highlight of the season, showcasing Orlov's raw power and flawless timing. Amidst all these high-octane plays, Makar decided to sprinkle in his own brand of magic. In the middle of a heated match, he saw McCann and thought, why not give him a little hello? After McCann's almost goal got shut down by goalie Georgiev, even though the puck was chilling somewhere else, Makar delivered a thumping hit to make McCann feel his presence. Huge hit in the, the refs called it interference, first thinking it was so fierce, it deserved a five minute penalty. But then they had a change of heart, but the video replay said, hold on a minute, 
Though the refs took it down a notch, the NHL had a chit-chat with star player Kale McCarr. And star player Kale McCarr got benched for Game 5 as a penalty. Some say his hit was so hard, the puck itself felt sympathy. And just when you thought the thrills were over, Truba showed us again why he's one of the biggest hitters in the game. During a face-off against the Calgary Flames, Kadri of the Flames probably thought he was skating at Madison Square Garden, not Truba's slam zone. And boom. Truba's hit was so huge, it sent Kadri's helmet into another zip code. Dubé, Kadri's buddy, tried to step in, probably thinking he could take on Truba. The two tangoed for a bit, but Truba was like, hold my hockey stick. Truba threw a few punches to give Dubé a taste of his fists. It ended with Dubé on the floor, probably wishing he'd just stayed in bed that day. Shifting the focus, let's journey to an unforgettable showdown between the Toronto Maple Leafs and Tampa Bay Lightning. Barely five minutes into the third period, Braden Point's world went black. Out of nowhere, Morgan Riley, like a missile, slammed him into the board. Braden lay there, dazed, trying to catch his breath. But that wasn't the end. Matthews and Stamkos, two of NHL's elite, decided to have a mini dance-off, exchanging punches like MMA fighters. And this incident created a weird record of the first fight between two 60-goal scorers. Now, rewinding the clock to 2012, the rink witnessed a seismic moment. Rafi Torres of the Coyotes decided to take flight. His target, the unsuspecting Marion Hossa from the Blackhawks. Well, again, Hossa. It looks like he jumped on the play. Left his yeah, feet. it looked like he jumped on the play. And left As his... Hossa crashed onto the ice, time seemed to freeze. Every yeah, eye was glued to him, the... lying there, helpless and still. You could almost hear Hart skip beats as he was stretched to the hospital. Meanwhile, the NHL didn't go easy on Torres. They slapped him with a whopping 25-game suspension. In hockey years, that's an eternity. And for the kicker, for every game he warmed the bench, $20,000 slipped away from his pocket. No wonder he looked like he dropped his last puck. Stepping into a season of heated grudges, the Blackhawks clashed with the Blues, and Seabrook took center stage. He slammed into Blues captain David Backus with a force of a runaway train, sending him face first into dreamland right there on the ice. The hit was so brutal, it probably made the puck wince. His Blues mates were not happy, and they flew into action, standing up for their down leader. But here's the kicker. When Bacchus tried to rise, he looked more like a toddler learning to walk. Legs wobbly, eyes glazed, trying to stand. But gravity was being extra stubborn that day. Seabrook's hit was so fierce, the officials tossed him a game misconduct penalty and a three-game vacation. As for Bacchus, that hit ended his game night and gave him a headache he wouldn't forget. Fast forwarding to the 2021 playoffs, Ryan Reeves of the Vegas Golden Knights showcased his reputation as a muscle man. In a showdown with Detroit, Reeves made the arena shake when he flattened Philip Aronek. The guy was just gliding, minding his own business when Reeves came out of nowhere. It was like watching a truck hit a scooter. Aronek's face got a close-up of Reeves' shoulder and suddenly, it looked like he was auditioning for a horror movie. No whistle from the ref, and no penalty was called out. And he scratched their heads, wondering, was it Heronic's fault for being unaware, or did Reeves take a free shot? All in all, that hit was big. Shifting to the 2023 playoffs, it was Leafs defender Jake McCabe's turn to rewrite the rules. While Essamon had his eyes on the offensive zone, McCabe gave him a sudden detour. That hit was so fierce, it probably shifted the Earth's axis a tiny bit. Essamont, probably thinking he'd stepped into an alternate universe, managed to hobble to the bench. Word is, even the concussion spotter felt that one from the sidelines. While the play was rougher than a bear hug with actual bears, no penalty was called. 
Maybe the referees were too shocked, or perhaps they were too worried about McCabe's next move. As for Patrick Laine, he looked so dazed, you'd think he saw his entire hockey life flash before his eyes. Lastly, the intensity reached its zenith in a fiery clash between the Hurricanes and Panthers. Bennett, a force of nature on skates, seized an opportunity. Slavin, momentarily focused on the puck, was blindsided by Bennett's freight train-like charge. A collision of titans unfolded as Bennett's shoulder connected, propelling the towering Slavin off his feet. The arena held its breath as the game screeched to a halt. Slavin took a little detour into the net, looking like he'd just tried ice dancing for the first time. Despite his best efforts, he needed help off the rink and into the locker room. Bennett's tackle was so intense, it probably registered on the Richter scale. Now, if you want more thrilling dives into the world of NHL, check out some of our newest videos, NHL's Most Brutal Referee Injuries.